Hello guys, MJT360 back at you again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a circular saw into an abrasive chop saw. Yeah, that should be a cool idea. Um, don't try this at home, this is the stupidest thing I've ever built in my life, I have to say. It's a really dumb design, but I, uh, do you know me, I like uh, scary, sketchy things. So yeah, um... Like my homemade table saw in there, which I'm still using, guys. Surprisingly, if you didn't know, that's a little uh, little thing to know. I'm still using the homemade uh, table saw, even though uh, the table saw that I own is still running. But yeah, uh, here it is. So uh, yeah, here it is, guys. Um, this is my uh, circular saw. This is made out of a Craftsman. 2 and 8 horsepower Sears Craftsman circular saw, 7 and a quarter inch blade that vibrates like hell. Yeah, I need a I need a uh, re-oil, I need to re-grease the bearings in there, but other than that, uh so yeah, let me quickly um plug this while I'm talking about it. So I don't get killed, as you can see, it is now unplugged. Because there's no guard on here whatsoever. I should put the guard back on, but I'm too lazy. So yeah, we're not going to put the guard back on. Because it won't work with this design. Because as you can see, I have a metal vise, a Harbor Freight metal vise. Acting as my clamp. I can clamp up to a hole. Clip up that much material, which my saw can barely handle, but I can, I can handle that. So yeah, um, yeah, there it is. Um, I know everybody's like, Michael, this is the stupidest design ever. You got a massive blade spinning at 5,400 RPM. What if that abrasive blade you're going to put on there shatters? I'm not putting an abrasive blade on this. That's the thing. I'm putting a one of these blades, but that I'm putting a Diablo Cerment 2 tooth uh, carbide tipped metal cutting blade on this saw to spin at to spin to cut metal. But yeah, um, so that's why this blade will never explode. Um, but yeah, uh, here it is in action, guys. Um, let me see, what can I chop up? Take a couple slices. Got a nice... This piece of wood cost me $53 and 25 cents. Yeah, wood prices have gone up. Again, I'm kidding. This did not. This cost me like nothing. But yeah, anyway. If I put this in the saw. I can just peer down the side of the blade. Remember, this thing is not plugged in right now. So uh, I can touch the blade while it's without getting hurt, as you can see. And now we're just going to tighten this down. And now ready to watch the sawdust fly. We're going to take this. We're going to plug this back in. And ready? Here we go. I'm going to split my legs apart because I don't want this blade to explode if it ever does. Pretty decent cut. I think you guys can see that. No, you cannot. Yes, you can. Pretty decent cut. Pretty decent cut. A little bit of vibration, but yeah. Another thing that saw is great for is well that if you don't clamp down anything. Grab something like your nice piece of uh, 
a nice piece of firewood. Push the trigger down far enough. Let's try that again. Try something that's slightly smaller. Who needs a chainsaw when you got a circular saw attached to a cutoff stand? But yeah, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, it's a pretty sketchy design, but uh, oh, I really gotta fix that gearbox. I'm gonna fix that gearbox right after this, so I'm gonna retry it again and see if it's any better. But uh, I got some nice uh, wheel bearing grease that I can throw in there, see if that makes any difference to this saw at all. But uh, other than that, uh, there you go, guys. Nice little uh, circular saw stand. There you go. Yep. Um, so, guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Remember, do not try this at home. I am not liable if you try this at home. This is a very stupid design. Stupid idea. Not safe at all. Don't try it. This could kill you. Don't try it at home. I'm not kidding. If you do, I will come to your doorstep and beat you with a bat. Okay. So yeah, have a great day and I will see you next time. And I'm kidding about beating you with a bat, but I will come to your doorstep and actually talk to you and be like, Hey, I thought I told you not to try this design. Don't do it again. Disassemble it now. Let me give you a quick close-up of how I did it. I've got two wooden blocks here, one right here and one right here, remember this thing is unplugged. Got one right here, a block right here and a block right here, yeah block right there and a block right there, and a bolt with four roller skate bearings. There's two more, right there. There you go, and then that causes the whole thing to pivot. Then I built this stand on the back, and then I built a platform on the bottom that I can attach a central forge. Really shitty vice, actually. Sorry, it's a really crappy vice. I really don't like this vice, but uh, I'm using it because I got it. But yeah, it's a really cruddy vice. I would not recommend this. It, I bought it so I could bolt it to my uh, drill press, and guess what? I have a Harbor Freight drill press, and this Harbor Freight vice does not fit on my Harbor Freight drill press. It's kind of a funny thing to think about. But there you go. Yeah. Here's all the specs of the circular saw. Pause the video if you'd like to read them. See, it's 10 amps. Model number 3151096 yeah there you go guys i really like it i really do it's a pretty cool design idea but i would not recommend trying this don't try it at home bye